Happy Vlogtober, day number 11. I am starting work early until the end of October because that whole new medical hospital system is officially live today and I just want to get a hang of it for the next three weeks. And then I'll be back to normal hours again. It feels weird being up this early and just still have a sleep. I swear, I was really enjoying the late hours, like being able to wake up around 6.30 or 7 even, and then leaving the house at 8. Like, it was nice. Like I had so much time to do things, and I feel like no matter how late I sleep, being able to wake up that late, I still had energy. Like I wasn't as tired, but now I'm feeling sluggish, and then it's starting to get cold again, back and forth. Um, so yeah, I'll check you guys later. Happy Monday. Oh my gosh, I heard some dogs barking. I thought maybe it was like my neighbor two houses down. And I'm like, let me just turn on my flashlight just in case. I don't see anything still, but I hear sounds. But it sounds like one of the smaller dogs. And then like, I'm walking to my car. I still see nothing. All of a sudden, like a big ass dog just walked across like inches away from me, leaving my backyard. I'm like, oh, hell no. I didn't know if it was a bulldog or not. I don't know anything about dogs, but oh my lord. That was creepy. That was that was scary. So yeah. It is 6.04 on my way to work. I'm 7 to 3.30. Back to my normal hours again. Just the end of this month because there's so many stuff to learn. I just want to get this thing over with and get the hang of it and not be stressed out where to click, 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 click. And it's funny, like, the instructions they give you in the handbook is so freaking confusing. And then, like, the training course was just, I feel like I learned nothing. Maybe, like, little sections and stuff, but the rest of the stuff they were telling us about had nothing to do with what we do in our department. I just keep complaining about this. This is so everything. What's that word? Corporate world, it's just a lot of BS, I feel like. You got the big people who, who comes up with all of these ideas, thinking it's best for the people that actually are working, but it's never the case. The people who develop all of these new projects, blah, 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 ideas, new rules, new guidelines, are the ones that are not in our shoes. You know what I mean? Whether you're a medical assistant or a nurse, just basically anyone above us thinks what they're doing is good for us and it's not it just benefits them not us but we're the ones that's working we're the one that's hustling and bustling but it just never makes sense anybody feel me out there like it's ridiculous like they make it seem like yeah our voices count your opinion counts all the surveys um what you guys want it they never implement it. They never. It's always what they want, their way, and we just have to follow. <coughs> God forbid we complain. It's always a but, but, but. Unless some shit happens. Oh, oopsie. But even then, nothing changes because we're just the small people working under them. So, but besides that, I'm blessed to have a job, and I still love what I do. Six or seven. Let's go. That dog is still there. You see that? Right there. What is it doing? It's a stray dog. Okay, it's not a bulldog. Oh, I wish you could see it closer. I gotta tell my parents. Yeah, that, exactly. That's Morning, fine. girls. How you happy? I took this home over the weekend to like clean everything. And eat my yogurt before people get here. It's still early, 6.43, so yummy. We got treats today, Kit Kats and Skittles, yummy. Hey guys, 3.36, I'm on my way home. 
um, like I mentioned, I am back at my normal hours because of this new health system. We didn't have any patients today except for one EKG and five of us was in a room with a patient. Thank God he was very understanding. Kind of have an idea. Um, and I watched another person um, do intake with another uh, patient in a different department. Got more ideas and I just, yeah, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Just for now, I think all, this whole system is new to us. So it's overwhelming and trying to remember what to click, but definitely epic if you guys work in a hospital and if you ever heard of this program, it's very popular. It's just very, very specific, which I like, but there's so many steps. And also, it's like a way of us being careful and not to um, make mistakes. It confirms you, it dings you, it it tells you exactly what this section is for when you put the cursor towards the area, stuff like that. But it's definitely a lot of steps to do one simple order for like an EKG or any other testing. There's a lot of steps. And um, it's just kind of nice that we no longer have to do paper charts, meaning constantly printing tons and tons of paper for certain docs even though the reports are already on the screen when they click on the patient's chart stuff like that but um i just want to be able to do all the major basic stuff on there and just be comfortable with it so right now I just have so many questions so many like what how where really <laughs> but yeah i'm so looking forward to seeing ava earlier in the day and having to leave end of the day and feeling more exhausted. Even though I am tired, it's just the fact that I don't have to like wait or not wait, like stay late and then I'm all by myself in um, the office and it, it's kind of creepy at times, but I can't believe it's like freaking October and it's still, um, I'm having a hard time talking because I'm vlogging and I'm driving and I feel weird and I don't want I don't want anybody to question what I'm doing. So yeah. It's no, I was trying to say I can't believe it's still like hot in October. Um it's the second weekend still freaking hot. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Um yeah. Change guys in a bit. Hey friends, just took a shower. Of course, I feel so refreshed after it. Um, getting ready to eat. We had free lunch and the cafeteria today and then my manager got us food from Jimmy John. So I'm gonna eat that. And then, yeah, today went okay. I'm just excited to be home early and seeing Ava. I'm exhausted because it's been so, how many weeks? Yeah, like a month that I've been um, starting work late because of Ava's school situation. But yeah, I'll be back to my late hours um, at the end of October. So tomorrow, again, is our first full day using this new health system program, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be okay. And then once I get the hang of it, I'll be like, I was born for no reason. But, you know, all of us are on the same page, different age groups. We got this. So I'm just glad. Now I'm just going to spend time with Ava. And we all know she got stories. Got my Jimmy John's. I think mine is Italian. You did? Hold on. All right. Oh, let's see what we got here. I think this Italian. What number is this? What number is this? Oh, number nine. Someone told me it was Italian. I don't remember their stuff. Um, chips. What is this? Jimmy John's. What flavor is this? Something chips. Regular chips. Oh, and the sandwich is big. What's that? And then giant cookie. Oh, and a pickle. And then those. mom made some stir fry. Well, it's kind of soupy. Pumpkin, bear melon, corn, and pork. Yum. What is this? Raisin cookies? Hello, big. And then the chips again. Jimmy Chips regular. Okay. And... With giant sandwich, yeah. just did TikTok, of course. But look, Italian. I always get the um, the turkey tom and then country club. And what's the other one? Something Italian, something too, but not this one. And then 
for the longest time, I always get the unwitch one that's wrapped in uh, lettuce. But yeah, today I got bread. Just add mayo. I already had the pickles. Yeah. But um, I gave Avery the cookie. Crunch chips. Mmm, it's good. They stopped the jalapeno one. Why? It's so good. What happened? But yeah, we're gonna have free lunch this whole week. So today, lunch from management. And I was like, let me eat the Jim John's later. But um, the rest of the week, just didn't get food from the cafeteria. And on Friday, double again because free lunch. And then we're also having pizza at work. Yes. I want to show you something. Miss Ava did a great job today. First time everything purple. I think um, green, green marks on the day she's at school means she's ready to learn. But this is like the highest one. Exceptional. So, so proud of her. And let me show you all the stuff she got in the past. Such a baddie. Green. This was like last week. And then this week she was off school. But get this. Oh! Purple, that blue. Oh, blue. What did you? I didn't know you got this. Good. And look at this. Some in trouble. Kind of War warning for not listening. Ooh. No, no, my got me in trouble. Green. And look at this. She was coloring on the table back in September. That was the second week of school. But besides that, she did good. So when I see it, notes or whatever, I just have a conversation with her. Let her know what she's doing wrong and that she needs to stop doing those behaviors. But yeah, she is off on Friday. Why well, can't do that one? Awesome. All right, guys, I am going to end this vlog. Happy October day number 11. Stress Wish ball. me good luck for tomorrow. Um, Ava, come here. Huh? Ava has something to say. What'd you say, baby? Uh, can I have a hunger? Yeah.